Good day, I am Laika Giselle P. Comilla from BSN 1205 and today I will be performing the return demonstration for the assessment of physical appearance and mental status to be followed by the assessment of female genitalia. So to start this, ma'am, you may enter po this way please. So to start the assessment for the physical appearance and mental status, the first thing that I am going to do is to introduce self and verify client's identity to be followed by the explanation of the procedure. So good day ma'am, I am Laika Giselle P. Comilla, your student nurse for today. And for verification, may I know your full name please? Um, Jara Comilla. Your age? 14 years old. Your birthday? February 13, 2009. Your nationality? Filipino. Uh, what about your occupation? I'm a student. Uh, your marital status? I'm single. So how would you like me to address you, ma'am? Uh, you can call me Jara. Okay, ma'am Jara. The procedure that we're going to do today is the assessment of physical appearance and mental status. And to ensure that everything is normal or if there are any abnormalities, we are going to take note of them to prevent further complications. In this examination, I would be needing to ask you certain questions regarding your physical appearance and mental status. Would it be alright with you? Yes. Okay. Um, see to it that the findings of this study will remain confidential between me and you, as well as the attending physician that I'll be referring you to. Uh, see to it also that the findings will be used on medical purposes only. So the next thing that I am going to do is to perform hand hygiene, and I would be using an alcohol to control the microorganisms as well as the transfer of infection. The next thing is to provide client privacy and that includes closing the doors and curtains not only for the privacy as well as to give respect to the client. So ma'am, the first thing that I'm going to do is to observe for signs of distress in posture or facial expressions. So as I have noticed naman po, there are no signs of wincing as well as uh, distress in your face po. So the next thing is to observe for the body build and that includes the height and weight in relation to the lifestyle, to the age, and the health of the client. So mommy, I know your height po. Um, I am 159 centimeters. What about your weight? 51 kilograms. So since you have said earlier that you are 14 years old, Regarding your height and weight, which is in between the normal range naman po. Regarding your lifestyle, since you are a student, may I ask po if what is your mode of transportation to go to school? Do you take public transport or do you prefer walking? I prefer walking. Okay. That is a good lifestyle, ma'am, and a uh, good exercise din po. And I will assume that due to that lifestyle, your body build is proportionate and there are no signs of excessively thin or obese. So the next thing is to observe the client's posture, gait, standing, sitting, and walking. So for this assessment, ma'am, may I ask you please to stand up? Okay. Can you please take three steps forward? One, two, three. How about three steps backward? One, two, three. Thank you, ma'am. You may not take your seat. So as I have observed, the client is relaxed and there is an erect posture. Uh, despite different movements being done, there is still coordination in the body. So the next thing naman po is I will be observing your overall hygiene and grooming. So as I am observing naman po, uh, there is neatness and cleanliness in your grooming. The next thing is to note for the body and uh, the breath odor in relation to the uh, work or exercise. So, mommy, I ask you po if uh, have you done any exercise or activity before this examination? No. Okay na naman po. So, there is no body odor related to recent activity as well as there is no breath odor. So, the next thing naman po is to note obvious signs of health or illnesses. So, in terms of your skin, uh, I can see that the skin is intact. There is no discoloration as well as sign of uh, bruises or perhaps scars, which is a good indication of your skin, as well as the, uh, the skin color, which is uniform. Regarding naman po to your breathing, I can see that you are breathing effortlessly. There is no wheezing or any abnormal sounds. And you can breathe easily po. Uh, your body is well developed and well nourished, intact skin and easy breathing. So the next thing is to assess the client's attitude. In assessing the client's attitude, as I have noticed earlier, the client is 
being cooperative and able to follow instructions as I um, have instructed the client uh, different things a while ago. So the next thing is to note the client's mood or the effect and as well as the appropriateness of the client's response. So aside from following instructions, the client have also responded accordingly to what uh, the situation or what is being asked. So the next thing is to listen for the uh, speech quantity uh, regarding the amount and pace as well as the quality which includes the loudness, the clarity, and the inflection. So as we are talking a while ago po, um, uh, your speech is understandable. It is also in moderate pace, uh, the clear tone, and has inflection. That is a good sign, ma'am. So the next thing is to listen for the relevance and the organizational thoughts so to check po for the uh, relevance and the organizational thoughts um ma'am may i ask you po if what is the date today um it is may 8 2020 okay may I ask naman po if what type of assessment are we doing today we're doing a physical and mental status okay thank you ma'am so i can see that uh, uh the client answers accordingly and has a sense of uh, reality as well as to the logical sequence and it makes sense so the next thing that i am going to do which is the last step for this assessment is to document the findings in the client's record so the day is may 8 2023 time is 2 p.m and the client miss jara Comilla, 14 years of age has no signs of anxiety no signs and symptoms of other problems regarding mental status have proper hygiene and appearance. So that would be awful for the examination or the assessment rather of the physical appearance and mental status. So now I'll be proceeding to the assessment of female genitalia. So in the assessment of female genitalia, the first thing that I am going to do is to gather all the equipments needed and gathering those equipments will avoid going around the laboratory to gather each equipments during the actual procedure. So those equipments include uh, clean gloves uh, and the drape to the client. So the next thing is to introduce self and verify client's identity to be followed by the explanation of the procedure. Since I have already verified my client and have introduced myself a while ago, then I'll be proceeding to the explanation of the procedure. So ma'am, the procedure that we are going to do is the assessment of the female genitalia. And in the assessment of female genitalia, if there are any abnormalities or everything is normal, uh, either way, we are going to take note of them to prevent further complications. Um, in this examination, I would be needing to touch certain questions regarding po your female genitalia. Would it be okay with you? Yes. I would also be needing, ma'am, to touch a specific part of your body, particularly nga po your female genitalia. Would it be okay also? Yes. Okay. So, see to it po that the findings of this study will remain confidential between you and me as well as the attending physician that I'll be referring you to. And see to it also that the findings of this study or this examination whether um, will be used on medical purposes only. So the next thing that I am going to do is to perform hand hygiene and other infection prevention procedures. So I will be using an alcohol to wash my hands as well as the removal of the jewelries to prevent the spread of the infection as well as the microorganisms. So the next thing that I am going to do is to provide client privacy and see to it that the doors and curtains are already closed not only for the client privacy as well as to respect the client. So the next thing is to provide a quick history review. So to ensure the fast and efficient examination, the first thing that I am going to do is to ask you certain questions po regarding your uh, female genitalia. So ma, may I ask po if um, when was the, uh, what age did you get your first menstruation? Uh, I was 10 years old back in 2019. Okay, so that was 4 years ago po, right? So, may I ask naman po, when was your uh, recent uh, menstruation? Uh, May 1st. Okay, so regarding its duration, uh, can you please uh, state the average duration for how many days? About 4 to 6 days. Okay, 
uh, regarding naman po to the flow of your menstruation, uh, can you describe it, ma'am? Um, it's more uh, heavy uh, on the first day and on the other, it's not really heavy. Okay. Do you feel any menstrual pain po? Uh, only on the first day, but on the following, it doesn't hurt. Okay. Uh, may I know po if you have a uh, regular menstruation or irregular menstruation? Regular menstruation. Okay, that is good. So, now I'll be proceeding to ask you about your urination. Ma'am, regarding po to your urination, uh, do you feel any pain as you urinate? Uh, none. None naman po. So, uh, do you see any droplets of blood po as you urinate? Mm, not really. Okay. Uh, regarding naman po to your history, uh, do you have any history po uh, regarding uh, genitalia problems, illnesses perhaps? Mm, no, not really. Okay, that's good ma'am. So after that, the next thing that I'm going to do is to cover the pelvic area and assist the client to bed to the supine position. So ma'am, may I assist you po to go to the bed in supine position? So the next thing is to inspect the distribution, the amount, and as well as the characteristics of the pubic hair. So as I was inspecting, there is a wide variation of hair and it is generally kinky in the menstruating adult. As well as the its distribution of hair which is in the shape of an uh, inverse triangle. So the next thing that I will be inspecting is the skin of the pubic area and it will include the separation of the labia to inspect it. So as I am inspecting, the pubic skin is intact. No lesions, skin or vulva area like the darker to the rest of the body. The labia is round, full and relatively symmetrical in adult females. So the next thing to check is the inspection of the clitoris and that includes the the arterial arteries and the vaginal arteries with the separating labia. So the clitoris is in within the normal range of one centimeters in width and two centimeters in length. The urethral arteries appears as small as meat in the same color and surrounding the tissues. Uh, there are also no inflammation as well as selling or other um, abnormalities as well as other discharges. So the next thing that I am going to do is to palpate the inguinal lymph. So palpating the inguinal lymph nodes, ma'am, I would be needing to touch your female genitalia. Would it be okay with you, ma'am? Yes. Okay. So, I can feel that there are no enlargements or tenderness in your lymph nodes. So, the next thing that I am going to do is to remove the gloves. Then, proceeding to the documentation of the findings in the client's record. So, today is May 8, 2023. The client, Miss Jara Comilla, has been examined for her female genitalia and the pubic skin is intact as well as the pubic hair which is in inverse triangle shape and there are no presence of inflammation on lymph nodes. So that would be all for the assessment of female genitalia.